Today, why don't we find the molar mass of aluminum bromide? So to help me out, I'm gonna use my table. Bam, so the first column I have to fill out is the element. So I have two elements here, aluminum and bromine, so I'm simply going to write them on in their place. The next thing is I need to know the number of atoms of each particular element in this entire compound, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of aluminum here, there is an invisible one, so it's telling me that I have one aluminum, so I'm going to write in the number one there, and the subscript for bromine, that is, is going to be three. So I'm gonna put in a three there. Next thing is, then I'm gonna take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element in that compound. So what I need to do is look at my periodic table. So let's take a look. So aluminum is over here, it has a mass of about 26.98. All right, and if we're solving for molar mass, that's grams per mole. If we're solving for uh, molecular mass, that is AMU. And bromine is about 79.9, all right? So 26.98 and 79.9. So 26.98, and 79.9. So all we now simply need to do is just multiply the rows together to get the total mass of the element in that compound. So this is simply gonna be 26.98, and then three times 79.9 is gonna be roughly about uh, 239, I think, uh, 0.7 probably. So we'll add those two together now, and when we add them both together, we're gonna to find the total mass of the entire compound now, which is approximately now 266.68. Since we're solving for uh, molar mass, this is going to be in grams per mole. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Take care.